Hello everyone, here is another video with OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain elimination addition mechanism for benzene ring and chemistry of benzene intermediate. I'm going to explain the elimination addition mechanism and benzene intermediate by this example. We know that if we have electron with the drawing group on ortho and para position like this, addition of OH to this carbon and elimination of chlorine, it's easily happen. This mechanism is addition elimination. But when we don't have this electron with the drawing group, performing this reaction is a lot harder and we may need to have harsher condition. For example, we need to perform this reaction at 350 Celsius. It is observed that at this temperature, we get phenoxide anion and sodium chloride. Acidifying the phenoxide anion cause formation of phenol. So when we add acid, the O negative converts to OH. It is observed that this reaction happened through the elimination addition mechanism and it caused formation of benzene intermediate. The hydroxide anion act as a base, take this hydrogen, the CH electrons goes here and then we have expelling of chlorine. As a result, we get an intermediate that benzene ring has a triple bond. So for this reason it called benzene. This new pi bond is a distorted pi bond and it is not formed from p orbital. It is formed from sp2, sp2 overlapping. So the hybridization of this carbon even with triple bond still is sp2. We also have water as a side product. The water can attack to the triple bond and push the pi bond to the adjacent carbon. Then this intermediate forms OH2 positive and we have a negative charge on next carbon. Then this carbon can act as a base, take hydrogen and we get our final product. There are a couple of ways to prove that benzene formed during this reaction. I'm going to explain some of them during this video. We can have the same type of reaction when we use NH2 negative. It is a very strong base, stronger than hydroxide, and it can go through the benzene mechanism. To prove the benzene formation, the ipso carbon, carbon bearing chlorine, it's labeled by carbon 14 so instead of normal carbon we have carbon 14 is a radioactive isotope of carbon then when we perform the reaction we get two different products we get nh2 attached to the labeled carbon and we also get another product that nh2 attached to the adjacent carbon and the percentage of these products are 50 50. the reason is again formation of benzene nh2 act as a base deprotonation then formation of benzene when benzene forms it is a symmetrical intermediate then ammonia can attack to this carbon or it can attack to the labeled carbon the green arrow causes formation of the first product and the white arrow it causes formation of second product Let's have some example for this type of reactions. Here is the first example because we don't have electron with the Ryan group in ortho or para position of leaving group, then the reaction should go through the benzene mechanism. So we have hydrogen here, then NH2 perform acid base reaction, and we have formation of benzene. This benzene intermediate it is not symmetrical anymore because of the existence of methoxy group 
NH2 negative or ammonia can attack to this carbon and push the electron to the next one. Then we get this product. In addition of that, we may have addition of NH2 negative or ammonia to this carbon. Then we can have this product. We have para and we have meta product. Formation of these two products also is another proof for formation of benzene. Here is another example. Again, we don't have electron with the ring group on ortho and para position of bromine. Then we should have benzene mechanism. NH2 take this hydrogen and we have expelling of bromine and formation of benzene intermediate. Now we may have addition of NH2 negative to the ortho position or we may have addition to the meta position. As a result, we have two different products in this reaction. We have NH2 attached to the ortho and we have NH2 attached to the meta position. This example is almost like the last example, but I would like to discuss the effect of CF3 group for formation of major product. So we have formation of benzene again. Then we may have addition of NH2 to the ortho position. Then pi bond moves to the meta. So here, We have CF3, NH2, the negative charge on meta position. If we have addition of NH2 to meta position, then we have this intermediate that NH2 attached to the meta position, negative charge, it is on ortho position. Between these two anion, the second one is more stable because of the inductive effect of fluorines. So this anion is more stable and when the negative charge neutralized by addition of hydrogen to this anion, we have the major product for meta position. It is also observed that if instead of CF3, we have OCH3, the inductive effect of oxygen can have the same effect and metap is the major product. Here is another example. In this example, we have two possibilities for formation of benzene. If NH2 take this hydrogen, we have formation of benzene. Here and if we have reaction of NH2 with this hydrogen, then we have formation of benzene here. Of course, the three pi bond inside the benzene ring, they have resonance form, so I can change their position. So we have benzene here. Right now we have two different benzene intermediate. We have Two possibility for each one. NH2 can attack to the meta position or para position for first one. So we have two products, meta and para. For second one, we also have two possibility. We may have addition to ortho or addition to meta. Addition to meta produces the same product that we had for first benzene, but addition to the ortho produces a new product. So for this reaction, we have three different products. Ortho, 
meta and para. Benzene intermediate can be captured by dienes in these alder reaction. In addition of that, sometimes during the formation of benzene, we get this compound. This compound is the dimer of benzene. So if we have two benzene, they can have cycloaddition reaction. So these pi bonds move here, these pi bonds move here and forms this compound. But because we also have other nucleophiles like NH2 negative or also ammonia, formation of this product is very low. But this method is not the only method for formation of benzene. And by other methods, you may be able to get this compound as a major product as well. I'm going to have some example for these are the reaction with benzene intermediate and explain the other method for synthesis of benzene intermediate. Here is an example for capturing of benzene intermediate by Dilzalder reaction. This hydrogen can be removed by NH2. Then we can have formation of benzene ring. Benzene, it is a very good dienophile and it can easily reacts with this diene here. We have an Dilzalder reaction. This pi bond moves here, this pi bond moves here, and this pi bond moves here. Then we get this product. And we have O methyl here, and we also have another ring attached to the benzene ring. We may also have internal reaction between a nucleophile inside the compound and the benzene intermediate. Let's have one example for that one as well. Here is one example for internal reaction with benzene ring. So there is a hydrogen here. It can be eliminated by NH2. Then we have formation of benzene. So we have a benzene here, and then we have this chain here as well. Intramolecular reaction, performing reaction inside the molecule. When it causes formation of a ring with five or six atoms, it's very favored. And we always have intramolecular product as a major product. Here, this nitrogen, it can act nucleophile. So instead of ammonia or NH2, this nitrogen can attack to this carbon, but it cannot attack to this carbon because the structure will be very unstable. Also, it causes formation of ring with seven atoms. Then we have negative charge there and that negative charge will be neutralized. As a result, we have OCH3 here attached to the benzene ring. Then we have a new ring containing nitrogen atom. And this is our final product. We can also synthesize benzene intermediate by using these three type of compounds. For the first one, if we use magnesium, magnesium causes formation of Grignard reagent for one of these bromine. So we may have MgBr here and Br here. But this Grignard reagent acts like an anion and then these electrons come here and kick the boromine out of the structure. So we have a benzene plus MgBr2. So if there is nothing to react with this benzene intermediate, this benzene, it can dimerize and form the following structure.
So always existing of this product, even with low percentage, it is a proof that we have formation of benzene in mechanism of our reaction. We may also use this compound. Triphylate is a very good living group. Its structure is O S O O C F three. And here we also have TMS trimethyl silyl, one silicon with three methyl group. We know that fluoride ion is attacked always to the silicon. So if we perform reaction between fluoride anion and this compound, fluoride attack to the silicon, and then these bonds break and cause expelling of triphylate. So we can have formation of benzene again. Then let's say we would like to add furane to this mixture. Then we can have a Diels-Alder reaction between furane and benzene. As a result, we get a benzene ring, then a new ring here, and the oxygen atom is bridged here. And for the last one, we are going to use this compound. Its name is antranilic acid. By reaction of antranilic acid and nitrous acid, always nitrous acid converts an H2 to N2 positive. This N2 positive called diazonium. And it's a very good living group. And here we have a carboxylic acid. By heating this compound, we have formation of benzene by the carboxylation of this compound. So we have loss of carbon dioxide and loss of nitrogen gas. As a result, we get a benzene. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to get more tutorial videos.